Well, it didn't take you guys long to figure out what I was up to with a new product release. Uh, so stick around and we'll be right back to talk about it. All right, so back in May of 2017, um, I came up with this idea and we, uh, you know, one of the things that people struggle with sometimes is weeding their vinyl or HTV or whatever else they're working with. I mean, a lot of people use weeding tools when they cut cardstock or paper if they're cutting small things out. And uh, a lot of people use these tools, like this is the Cricut weeding hook. Um, I don't care as much for this one because the, the metal seems a little bit soft on it, always did, and the tips would bend on it a little bit. Um, and I never really used the hook anyway. So what I used to weed with was an X-Acto knife. And I would use it in, in just like I was going to cut, except I would kind of stab and lift with the back of the blade and the, and the very tip. And that worked very well for me. My problem with that was it would roll off my desk. It would hit the floor and break the little tip off, and I'd have to put a new blade in. Every time, and I eventually put a rubber band around it to keep it from rolling, but um, every time I would put a new blade in, it was a stinking sharp. I would touch anything, it would just slice through vinyl and... Uh, it was just a pain in the butt. So one day I got this uh, these samples in the mail. One was a weeding pen and the other was called a bubble popper tool. And one was noticeably sharper than the other. Uh, the weeding pen, ironically, I did not like so much. It was kind of big and fat and had uh, a hard steel tip that was tapered and it wasn't needle sharp. However, the bubble popper, uh, which was like this little tiny cheap pen, um, had a stainless, it was like the tip was like a stainless steel sewing pin, not a needle, but a pin. And a, a needle is different. Uh, you know, my mother was a seamstress, so I've been around this stuff my whole life, but the, a needle is kind of brittle. You can snap it and break it, whereas a stainless steel sewing pin, you can't do that with. You can even take a, a little pair of pliers and make a hook out of it if you want. They're, they're very pliable and, and sharp, and they are pretty resilient. So, I combined the two uh, and came up with this tool called a pin pen, P-I-N-P-E-N, -E and it became wildly popular. I remember the day I released it back then, at the time was our record sales day. We sold out of them in a day, and then we went on over a four year period to sell something like a couple hundred thousand of those units, and it was it just went crazy. Um, and then we added more colors, and, um, and before we released it, I went through kind of a testing process looked for different pens, pen bodies uh, that were comfortable and easy to work with and everything. It finally settled on uh, a particular style. And that style was like this. This is this is actually the original pen pen. This was the, uh, matter of fact, this was the promotional item from the promotional company uh, uh, that I put together as a very first pen pen. And I'll talk about a couple of problems that we ran into with, with these uh, over time. These things didn't surface until, you know, they were out in the field and thousands of people were using them. And we would see an issue here or there and uh, replace them or whatever. But a couple of the issues that we run into, um, one of them was the tip of it here was plastic and so this end would eventually start to chip and break away and uh, at one point we replaced those with metal um, and then the other big issue that I've, I've seen and, and this one has that feel to it as well is this little plastic part down here where you grip it over time it, they can get sticky um, what happens is plastic breaks down and plasticizers leach out of it and it makes the plastic sticky sometimes you see this in some of the cheaper items like a little f plastic flashlight from dollar tree or something like that especially if you leave it somewhere like maybe in your car uh, maybe one of those little rubber coated flashlights and then you have it touch it for a long time you get it out of your glove box and it's sticky and it's because the plasticizers break down and that's that's actually happening to this one even though it's been in this case uh, this thing's about six almost seven years old uh been been tucked away in this little case so the original pin pen and uh, you know we we also ran into some quality issues over time with the needle inserts that go in them uh mainly the the part of it, what would happen is they started to get a little cheap to make those in china and they started to really mass produce them and it caught on it's kind of funny because now if you go to Amazon and you search for weeding pen, they're all called pin pins. 
Um, so they took my name, they've plastered it all over the uh, every product they can to call it a pen pen. Uh, it, and it's like I left my mark on the industry, you know, it, it was kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, those, you know, pen pens went crazy and, and everybody had to have one. As a matter of fact, I remember uh, at some point Cricut came out with their uh, true control knife and then they released an attachment that was a needle kind of a sharp point to put on that to use to weed uh, so a lot of people have, have kind of mimicked and copied that and then uh, one of the, a few people guessed uh, the other day that it was going to be a lighted pen pen and that is something that I explored a long time ago I have a blog post out on our site I'll put the link to that blog post in the video description down below so you can read that if you want uh, talks about going through that process and trying to innovate and be creative with it and make it better um, because everything I do I when I finish a project or anything, the first thing that comes to mind is how do I make it better and how do I make it more efficient and quality, improve quality. And no matter how good it is, it just I just want everything to be better because I always think there's room for improvement. So, uh, like I said, some of you guessed a lighted pen pen, and I went down that path um, seven years ago, almost seven years ago, uh, after we released it, and I saw how popular it was going to be. And actually got even in that blog post, you see some pictures of the prototypes that I had made with a, a, a charger that stand that you put the pin pin in and it would charge it, uh, everything. The problem was I could never reach a happy medium and I, and I still don't think it can really be done effectively uh, to where it meets things such as comfort in your hand, the right size, not be too big, not be too heavy with a battery in it. Um, of course you could reduce the weight by making it a, like a USB connected so you put a little wire on it but then you're tethered to a wire. Uh, there was just a whole host of problems and then some of my big fears were the price point too because uh, in a device like that when you're charging things it needs to be high quality because those batteries can get hot, they can swell, they can break and they can catch on fire. And I was just real hesitant to put something out um, that was not going to meet those standards, the safety standards that I would expect, and um, you know that, that without it costing a fifty dollars or something, you know. Uh, so we kind of scrapped that project and uh, went a different direction and decided to provide more options and and things with them instead of going for a lighted one. Now, I know some companies have come out with some that are have lights on them and and stuff, but I've really not seen anything that I think this effective. Um, some of those problems are the lights only lasted, you know, 15 minutes or something. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, it, I just, like I said, I just could not bring myself to try to bring something to market that didn't meet what I wanted it to be. So now for this past year, I've been working on a new pen pen. Um, and I had some of the different criteria uh, that I wanted to apply to it, uh, you know, being that it would, we would fix that tip that was cracking. Um, part of the issue with that when they started to get kind of cheap and how they were ma making the needle inserts, uh, the little round piece that the very tip of the needle goes into that comes out is kind of looks like a, almost like a ballpoint pen tip. That part they were making them thinner, so it was allowing a lot of play. Uh, you know, when it would come out through the tip of the pen, it would wobble and cause more problems, made it harder to use. Um, you know that some of them were too short too long a lot of variants i mean i had uh to to deal with manufacturers and you know get reshipments and reshipments and test uh, some of them i would uh you know push on the tip of them and then the needle would go up inside of it so it was a lot of testing for the past year to get this right um, and looking at different pin options now this was the one that i really liked most however this or there was some challenges with this one it's a twist pin and, and I didn't like that because I talked to a lot of people and everybody wanted the click it's a very click a one-handed action instead of having to take two hands to twist it in and out um, I did like the weight and the comfort of this so I had to compromise a little bit in there to get the things that I wanted and then the price point too because this was a, a one of the higher uh, priced ink pen bodies and uh, they were in limited supply uh, and, and just couldn't bring that to market without it being like a 15 or $20 item. So after a lot of testing, we came out with the Pen Pen 2. And uh, this one, uh, the distinct features that I like 
are one, a little bit thinner rubber grip here. Uh, so it's very comfortable to handle. Uh, the old ones are a little bit fatter. Uh, this is, seems to be a nice medium size. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried it with uh, several different females, you know, Tammy and smaller hands. Uh, you know, I'm a big guy, I've got pretty good size hands and it's still comfortable for every, everyone that has held it and used it. Um, it, it is an all metal pin body. Uh, so the, the tube here is metal as well as the tip and the button, uh, you know, the, the pocket clip and everything. And uh, it, it is a really, uh, you know, it's much more sturdy than the old models. The other thing about it is it has a little bit more weight to it than the old, ones, old models, but not too much. It still fits and lays nicely in the hand, uh, does not make your hand tired to try to handle it and, and you know, weed with it. Um, so the, the fatigue uh, doesn't set in as much uh, as it would have with a like the lighted pen that was a lot heavier. And so just overall, really, really pleased with these. Uh, we do have these in one color currently. These are like a deep royal blue or maybe a navy blue um, uh, body with the gold trim and tip. So um, we're gonna launch these today. Uh, they are uh, $9.99 and on our website. So uh, go pick up one and add it to your order today. It would be a great thing to have. They do come with uh, the little red uh, velvet sleeve with the drawstring so you can store it. Uh, part of the pre problem is that the little needle tips sometimes stick out just a little bit. And this one, like I can barely feel it. So if you st drop this down in a cup holder or something, uh, you know, those tips do still vary just a little bit. Some are a little tiny bit shorter. Some are, I mean, I'm talking like less than a half a millimeter, probably a tenth of a millimeter shorter or longer, but you can still feel it. And if you're dropping it into a you know, a hard cup holder or glass or something like that, or you know, a lot of people use a coffee mug as a pen holder, uh, so you can damage the tip. So it's best to keep it in the sleeve. Uh, the other reason for that is, I don't, you know, I've had a ton of stories where people have said, you know, oh, my husband picked it up and thought it was a pen and tried to write a check with it and ripped the check up or, or whatever. Uh, and then, so to help with that, not only a sleeve, but we printed on it in nice big letters, pin pin too. So if someone picks this up, they hopefully will see that and go, well, what the heck is a pin pin? And maybe look at it before they try to sign their name or something. So anyway, um, not a, you know, like I said, I, I wrote that little riddle. It is, uh, you know, it's something old and, uh, you know, so some people might think it's kind of boring, but it's exciting to me because of how much research and time that I had to put into this and the testing and everything uh, to make sure that it's the quality that I expect and that you guys expect from us. So uh, again, go pick one up today on our website under the tools section. They're $9.99, uh, so pick one up and add it to your order and get your pen pen too.